In this short video today, I'm going to answer a question that I've gotten many times over. Will a chelated iron herbicide, technically not really a herbicide, but will a chelated iron herbicide kill or have an effect on crabgrass? So something to consider before you attempt this is to make sure that you cut that crabgrass not super low, but low enough that you're taking the seed heads away. Otherwise, as you probably know, crabgrass is an annual, and if you don't remove those seed heads, the, seed, the, the crabgrass is just gonna pop back up next year. So I'm gonna treat this crabgrass. crabgrass on another part of my lawn using Fiesta, an iron-based herbicide. So I got my Fiesta, my baby shampoo, my Ryobi chemical sprayer, and this has already been mixed up. My mix rate for this is eight ounces of Fiesta per gallon of water, plus a tablespoon of baby shampoo. The recommended usage for Fiesta is five ounces per gallon, but because, because crabgrass is relatively hard to control I'm gonna to try to do things just a little bit different here's a quick tip for you if you're wondering how you can avoid overspraying a particular area with a herbicide you do as I've done here simply stripe the lawn I'll walk up one stripe spray through that stripe walk back the other and continue until I'm done that way I'm not overspraying a particular area I am just going to completely saturate the crabgrass. So it's been three days since I hit this section of my lawn behind me and on the other side of my property with the Fiesta. And let's take a look at how it's doing. Go. There's some of the crabgrass there. You can see the foliage on that has browned and dried out. There's some more of it. So I'd have to say after three days, it didn't do actually a bad job. I'm surprised. I'm gonna hit it again. I'm gonna hit it again with the same rate. That is to say eight ounces of the, of the Fiesta for one gallon of water to one tablespoon of, of a surfactant, of a baby shampoo or Dawn or something of that nature. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look at it in another three days. Three days past the second application here, and you can see that crabgrass, foliage at least, is, is dead. The blades of grass are dead or dying. And this is after a second application and three days. You can see that dark color there that is the crabgrass that is literally frying interestingly if i get down you can still see my rye grass Some little bit of kentucky blue in there as well surviving again this is stuff that is not listed on the label kind of goes against what the label recommends but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna do it. This is after my third application. That crabgrass is gone. It's actually working. As I come down closer, you can see my 
my rye grass there is untouched. There's some blue grass in there. That's untouched. There's even a couple of blades of fescue in there. All of it unaffected by the by the iron herbicide or iron weed killer, I suppose. It's important to remember, this is 10 days. This wasn't one or two days. This is 10 days after I started this experiment and the grass is looking like this and the crab grass, all those black spots are looking like that. So let's cut it down. I, if you remember from the start of the video, I bagged my cuttings as I was coming through because I wanted to eliminate the grass, the, the crab grass seed, but there are no crabgrass seeds now, so I'm just going to mulch this, and I'll mulch the side of my uh, side of my my property between mine and my neighbor's house as well, and we'll have a look at both sections again. So how did this project go? How do I feel the Fiesta did at killing crabgrass? I have to say I'm quite surprised. I'd give it about an eight and a half out of 10. The blades of grass are completely gone. They are burned away. There's still some shoots that are there, but there are some shoots that are also dried up as well. And in a few cases, when I pulled at the roots, the roots just came right up. So it looked like they were dying out as well. It's important to remember that that crabgrass is an annual so with those blades gone and after 10 days no new growth coming along the chance of having new growth is relatively low and because it's an annual the crabgrass that is there this year will not be there next year what would come up would be from the seeds that have fallen this year for which i begged uh, when i was cutting previously or seeds that were in the soil previously, or maybe you brought in new soil and there were some seeds in there. So a pre-emergent in the spring is a necessity after, after taking this action against the crabgrass. Would I buy this product again and use this product again? Well, I buy the product and use it all the time, but as an off-label product where I've, where I've exceeded the manufacturer's recommended uh, mixture dosage, if you will, this actually worked. Would I recommend you using Fiesta at this level to kill your crabgrass? Well, you decide. It definitely worked for me. Now with this crabgrass taken care of, I'm definitely gonna have to fix up this space. You can take a look through my videos. You'll find, you'll find a video on how to fix bare spots. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you would like it share it, but more importantly, subscribe to my channel. My name is Jeff Seaton. This is Jeff Seaton Lawn Care. Thank you.